This lecture in the FOA series of lectures on fiber optics talks about the FOA's work in the standards area. We're working with other standards groups and how we have begun to develop our own standards. It says in the FOA's incorporation documents that the FOA is chartered to promote professionalism and fiber optics through education, certification, and standards. And that's what we do. And those standards include both us participating in industry standard activities and creating internal standards for training and certification. One of the questions we often ask is, what is a standard? Well, we went straight to the top, the ISO IEC. And we found this definition in their standards. What it says, of course it's written in standardese, is basically a standard is a document established by agreement within a group that sets rules or procedures for common use. And all that is aimed at creating an environment of predictability for all the users. Over the years, we've picked up lots of other interesting and sometimes funny quotes about standards. For example, when Bob Metcalf and I sat on a panel together, he made the comment that the wonderful thing about standards is we have so many to choose from. And in a brochure promoting a training session on international standards, the Massachusetts Port Authority had on the cover of the document why do we have international standards? Because those who control the standards control the marketplace. The former head of the TIA Ethernet Standards Committee once said, standards are mutually agreeable specifications for product development. And in a similar vein, the former head of the TIA TR42 Cabling Standards Committee said, we are manufacturers. We don't write standards for installers or users. We write standards for manufacturers. And that's what most standards committees are. They're manufacturers writing standards for themselves so that they can build products and sell them in the marketplace that will be interoperable. They'll work together. There are literally hundreds of organizations worldwide that write standards. But in our communication field, they are mostly organizations that write standards for networks like Ethernet or Wi-Fi, the IEEE. Networks and infrastructure at TIA or ISO, IEC. Specialized standards for telecom like Belcor or military. And groups like NECA, which is interesting because they write standards for the electrical world as well as low voltage. In the United States, all of these are coordinated by ANSI, the American National Standards Institute. The members of these organizations who are basically writing standards for themselves may be manufacturers like the IEEE or TIA or ISO IEC. They can be technical personnel for organizations like Belcor or the military, or they can be contractors that are writing standards for themselves at NECA. In the U.S., as I mentioned, ANSI is an organization of standards bodies. It has more than 125,000 companies who are members. The focus of most standards groups is the same. They want to define systems or components that are interoperable so they can supply products to customers who demand multiple sources for those products. They're designing systems for the future because there's always a demand for faster speeds and higher capacity. And then of course they're interested in marketing products. So there's always an overview of how these products will fit in the marketplace. The FOA has participated in 
several of these groups for more than 10 years, some of us for more than 25 years. And one of the things we realize that these groups are not addressing the needs of most FOA members who are contractors, designers, installers, and users of networks. FOA has been very active in the standards area. We participate in several international standards groups and we're a member of ANSI and TIA. We've worked with NECA on creating the NECA FOA fiber optic installation standard and recently we've made that free for downloading. And now at the request of some of our own members and a suggestion of some of the people we work with in other standards groups, the FOA is now creating its own standards, which we're calling one-page standards. The FOA standards are designed to address several important issues. The first is, as we said, they focus on the needs of the contractor, the designer, the installer, and the user of fiber optic networks. They're written by those same people, the people who use them. Instead of just looking ahead, we're looking back. We're covering legacy as well as future technology. And finally, we're trying to avoid the complexity of standards. We're focusing on basic techniques, and then we provide the particulars of the application and background materials from our extensive website. The bottom line is we keep it simple and we keep it free so it's affordable for everybody. Here's an example of one of FOA's one-page standard. It's a standard written from the point of view of a contractor, a designer, an installer, or user. It's based on TIA, ISO, IEC standards, but it's summarized in one page and it's backed by an extensive amount of technical information to explain the details. This is part of what we're trying to do. Make standards appropriate to our members and make them understandable so that in one page you can see the basics of how you make the measurement and you can see where you go to find out more in-depth information on, for example, issues like options in making the test or measurement uncertainty. A key element in helping people to understand standards is make them consistent. So, for example, the FOA decided to write all test standards in the same basic format, covering six basic topics. What needs to be tested? What equipment is needed to perform the tests? What are the procedures for making the test? What are the options required to implement the tests under various conditions? And what are sources of error in the measurement? Then, what documentation is required for the tests? By making all of our standards the same format, it's easy for any user to look at one of our standards and know what section gives them the information that they need. The FOA standards are designed to be used as part of project documentation. You can use them in your documents, your statement of work, your request for quote or information, or your contracts to define how the install network should be tested. The advantage of the FOA standards is they're understandable, they're concise, and they're easy to include in your other project documentation. And best of all, they're free. You can download them from the FOA website and include them in your documentation with our permission, which is granted. The reaction from our members and the industry as a whole has been enthusiastic toward the FOA method of writing standards. Now people are asking us, what's next? And that depends on what people ask us for. We're looking at the idea of producing more standards for installation and testing, perhaps standards on design and troubleshooting and restoration. 
All of this will depend on the needs of the FOA members and the industry. So feel free to contact us and let us know what you feel we should be doing next. We're the FOA, the Professional Society of Fiber Optics and Premises Cabling, promoting professionalism in the industry through education, certification, and standards.